Okay, welcome to another edition of Test Freaks Unboxing. Today I've got a eh, interesting product, I would call it, I guess. Uh, it's not your average tech tech product, but uh, it's something that's possible use useful for a lot of people, depending on what you do. Uh, it is the Bushnell Image View. Binoc or digital camera and binocular, 7x18. Uh, ideal for all activities. From sightseeing to sporting events, compact pocket size, free software included. Uh, this was provided by Geeks.com for review. And it retails for about $33. I've always had an interest in these actually. Uh, but I never got one because I really, you know, didn't have a use for it. I mean, yeah, I thought it was a, a rather cool little uh, product. But I never had a use for one. But, you know, when they asked if I wanted to review it, of course I said yes. So it was always something I was interested in. Uh, as you can see, it comes in a plastic clamshell style case, and I'm gonna have to cut it open here to get at it. Whoa. All right. I need a new blade. Cutting all these packages open is dulling my blade. Someday, eventually, they're gonna get rid of all these things. Alright, all right, let's get it open. Uh, it does require uh, two AAA batteries, which I don't... I don't know if they came with them or not, I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, here's a disc here. Bushnell Photo Suite software and drivers. It is... Uh, I don't know. Photo suite, software and drivers, that's all it says. Okay. Guess I'll figure out later what exactly is on it. Uh, user manual, uh, model number 11-0718. It's a basic manual, short manual. In the case, it's a nice little uh, nylon, nylon case. Has a clip on the back. Or a slot on the back for for your belt to pass through if you want to wear it. And Velcro enclosure. So, yeah, it's thick, I guess. Hmm. What can you expect? Got a USB cable. This would be how you transfer the pictures. And you've got a cloth, cleaning cloth. Got a, I don't even know what that is, but got a camera strap too. regular old camera strap <clears throat> okay now uh, here it is here I guess it would go this way or maybe not <laughs> okay we've got an on button here see if I can get this all right here we go we've got okay and we've got mode which uh, I'm guessing would be the power button as well because there's a power indicator next to it snap is pictures I'm assuming uh, here we've got macro Switch to macro if you need to. Look through the binoculars. Guess not. On the bottom, uh, this looks like a focus. Yep. Uh, here we've got our strap, or place for the strap. Output, uh, USB connection hidden underneath. I'm guessing the batteries would go in here. Yep, right there. Batteries go here. And on the front. Bottom, uh, they're, they're, for how small these are, they're actually rather large. I mean, rather heavy, I'm sorry. Oh, there's even a tripod connector on the bottom. Uh, what this is for, I'm not quite sure. Uh, let me look at the manual real quick. I guess I'll find out. Uh, uh, there's nothing in the manual that tells me. Um, okay. Mode power button, AVI mode, oh, it shoots movies as well. 
So we have a timer, we have repeat shot, we have high quality, low quality, AVI mode, power frequency settings, change operational modes, delete, delete, software. Uh, okay, I don't know what that thing on the bottom is for. Ah, okay, there it is. That's the diopter setting dial, is what that is. Okay. Eye adjustments, obviously. We got this here. Slides out. So if you got a big head, you can, uh, you know, extend it out to make it a little bit bigger. Alright, well, uh, I guess that's that. I'm one, thing, one thing I'm surprised about, there's no... There's nowhere to put an external card either, so you're kind of stuck with whatever pictures you can put on here. Uh, it says it can store up to 300 images. Does it say what the sizes are? No. Huh. Okay, back to the manual. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, high quality, low quality. Low quality is 320 by 240 pixels. And high quality is 640 by 480, which is best quality. AVI, it doesn't say. I would think it would be the smaller of them. No, it doesn't say anything what the capacity for each file type is. Okay, I'll have to look into that and I'll add it into the text of the review. But these are the Bushnell. 7x18 image view digital camera binoculars nice little sportsman gadget uh, uh, well, there's an LCD display here which I'll uh, we'll check out later alright thanks